الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حمد في الله out of for benefit I think it's important that we go through the tafsir of Laylatul uh, Surah Al-Qadr and this is for the munasib or the munasiba of Laylatul Qadr or the last 10 days of Ramadan is here upon us so we'll try to go through this brief tafsir of Imam Sa'di who was a great Imam Professor Faqihi he was a great scholar of Fit and a great scholar of tafsir. This tafsir is, is well known and it's a Salafi tafsir, meaning that he didn't, when we say a Salafi tafsir, what we mean is, is that his aqidah was Salafi, especially with regards to uh, the divine names and attributes of Allah. Because you'll find many tafsirs, tafsir, even the, from the, some of the great scholars that have mistakes with in Aqidah. But the scholars still benefit from those books. Many of the books of Hadith as well. Some of the Muhaddithin, they have mistakes in some mistakes in Aqidah. Imam al who we just read those Hadith, he had some mistakes in Aqidah that were Ashari. You know, in Ta'wil, when it came to the Sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he would change them. So, uh, we regard him as a great imam, a great imam of Ahl Sunnah, and we don't follow his mistakes, we follow him in his greatness and what he contributed to Islam and the Muslims. So, Rashad, or Sheikh Rashad, will read the surah for us, and then we'll begin the explanation, and we'll try to be as brief as possible, and it's a very short tafsir and la'alana nastafeed and hopefully that will benefit. Tafadhal. Mashkura. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Jazakumallah khairan for your kira'a and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and bless you with ilm al-nafir wa stintaybu amin al-muntaqabbil. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after a'udhu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Verily we have said it, meaning this Qur'an, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةُ قَدْرِ Verily, we sent it, meaning the Qur'an, down in the night of power. The Qur'an revealed in the night of power. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And what will make you know what the night of Qadr, Al-Qadr is? <clears throat> then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks the question, and then he says, The night of Qadr, he answers it, it's like a rhetorical question. The night of Al-Qadr is better <clears throat> than a thousand months. It's better than a thousand months. Therein descend the angels and the Ruh, Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam is the Ruh, uh, by Allah's permission, with all decrees during that night. There is peace until the appearance of dawn. There is peace until the appearance of dawn. So that's a sign of Laylatul Qadr. Imam Sa'di rahimahullah ta'ala said, Allah asserts the virtue of the Qur'an and its high status. That's why it's important, the Qur'an. The Qur'an is very important. And may Allah forgive us for making hajjah of the Qur'an, being away from the Qur'an and putting away from the Qur'an instead of using, uh, reading the Qur'an every day. Because how can you practice the Qur'an if you don't read the Qur'an? It should be integrated in your life. And Ramadan is this tadrib, it's this practice of doing that. So that way, hopefully, you can carry some of that with you after Ramadan. <clears throat> so Allah asserts the virtue of the Qur'an in its high status by saying that, Verily, we have sent 
it down in the night of Al Qadr. Imam Sa'di said, Allah Azza wa Jal said in another instance, we sit at this Quran down on a blessed night. And this is uh, verse 44, uh, ayah 44, verse 3. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubarak. You know, verily, or uh, we sent it in the Quran down on a blessed night. So it's a blessed night. There's ajr, there's reward for you, mubarakah. Allah, that's why we say, barakallah fikum. May Allah bless you. Mubarakah. Mubarakah comes from barakah. Allah, Azza wa Jal, started revelation of the Quran in Ramadan. The ninth lunar month of the Islamic calendar. Ramadan is the ninth month. Right now we're in the ninth month of the lunar calendar, of the Islamic calendar. And that is called Ramadan, the ninth month. That's why it changes every year from the other calendar, Miladi, or the Christian calendar, or the whatever the other names they give it. It changes. <coughs> it's different because they have daylight savings time. They, you know, do a lot of changes. Uh, and so... And, and lunar calendar is different than, uh, I think it's a solar calendar. No. So Allah started the revelation of the Quran in Ramadan during Laylatul Qadr, the night of decrees, bestowing general mercy on the slaves for which the slaves can never be duly thankful. Meaning we can never be thankful enough for what Allah has given us. We've never seen Allah, but we believe in Him. And the way we show we believe in Him and the way we show we are thankful, a shukr. A shukr, as the ulama mentioned, a shukr, there's alhamd wa shukr. Alhamd, we say alhamdulillah, alhamd is on the lisan, is on your tongue. Alhamd is on your tongue. This is the difference in the meaning. A shukr, which is thanks, you know, alhamd is praise. A shukr is thanks. A shukr is ala jawari. Ala jawari. Meaning on your limbs. So you show shukr, as Imam Sa'di is talking about here, by doing actions, righteous actions. How do we know if you're really grateful and really thankful to Allah? Is if you're praying regular winter. You're praying your sunnahs. Regular time. Not, not just in Ramadan, but outside of Ramadan. Do you just pray fajr and go to bed? running? Or do you read Quran? Or do you pray at least those sunnahs of Fajr? Never miss the Prophet ﷺ, even when traveling, didn't miss the sunnah of Fajr. That is a way that you show shukr is by ibadah. Likewise, dhuhr, four rakat of dhuhr. This is sunnah mu'akkida. That the Prophet ﷺ, you know, did this and didn't miss this. You know, the four rakat of before Dhuhr, before, right before Dhuhr, after the Adhan of Dhuhr, four rakat Sunnah. After Dhuhr, there's two rakat Sunnah. Okay? This shows shukra to Allah. Not just, yeah, I, I, I'm so grateful to Allah. And you don't do any Sunnahs, you don't do any Sadaqah, you don't do any Ibadah. But shukr is through Amr. And then, of course, there's the, the next Sunnah, just to mention those Sunnahs is uh, Maghrib, uh, after Maghrib, Rakatain, then uh, after Isha, Rakatain, and, uh, and then, you know, making your witha. You know, there's a, there's a hadith, the hadith of Umm Habiba, radiallahu ta'ala, قال, قالت آه أم حبيبة ماذا قالت من صلى قالت قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من صلى إثنة عشر ركعة كل يوم والليلة والليلة بني له بهن بيتا في الجنة whoever prays twelve rakat and these are the sunnas uh, in the day and in the night because our night is after Maghrib. Maghrib is when the night begins. Allah will build for him or her a house in Jannah. 
So that's a house in Jinnah, and that's how you show shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> the Shaykh said, bestowing mercy on us, uh, so Allah started the revelation of the Quran in Ramadan during Laylatul Qadr, the night of decrees, bestowing general mercy on the slaves for which the slaves can never be duly thankful. This night was called Laylatul Qadr because of its great virtue and status. That is its Qadr with Allah. You know, it, it has Qadr. Qadr also means like manzil or, you know, it has weight, it has something great. Also, the adornment about what will happen in the coming year concerning life terms. So two reasons, the Qadr, because it has great status, this night, Laylatul Qadr, the night of power, and also because it's, it's the night of decree. It's when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees for the next year. The decree of what will happen. Uh, also the adornments about what will happen in the coming year concerning life terms, meaning who will live and who will die, when they will live and when they will die. Sustenance, your risk, how much you're going to get. And may Allah increase our risk from places we can never imagine. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. And worldly events are all decided during Laylatul Qadr. Also, the events in the world, they're decided Layla to Qadr. So this is one of the things that happens Layla to Qadr. Next, Allah asserts the praise and stresses the virtue of this night by saying, and what will make you know what the night of Qadr is? Uh, signifying its unparalleled status and, un and enormous value. So Layla to Qadr is, is very weighty and very, it's the night of power. The night of Qadr is better than a thousand months. Then the Sheikh said, on account of its virtue, this night is better than a thousand months in that performing good deeds during it is better than performing acts of worship for a thousand months. So these nights, important. And what is one of the best things that we can do at that night? Is the prayer. Is praying. The ex, uh, and, and dua. The, in, the intellect becomes astounded and the mind amazed at the bounty Allah Azza wa Jal has bestowed on this nation. Muslims, even though they are limited in strength and ability, Allah bestowed a night on them during which performing acts of worship is better than worshiping Him for a thousand months. A human lifespan of more than 83 lengthy years. Then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, therein descend the angels and the ruh, the ruh meaning Jibreel alayhi salatu salam. They descend abundantly, He said. With all decrees, there is peace. It is a peaceful night free from every type of evil and wickedness on account of its abundant goodness. So Layla to Qadr is a night of righteousness. Think about that when you're spending your night of Qadr, uh, Layla to Qadr, or the last 10 nights of Ramadan, the fact that the Muslims are in Ibadah, just think about those people who are so far away, they don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't believe in Yom Qiyamah, they're at the club. You're coming home from the masjid, from Tarawih, from Tahajid, someone else is coming home drunk from their house. Drunk driving, gets killed. This one's drunk, humiliates himself, falls on the street. This one is throwing up. This is how some people spend their, their nights. And sometimes, unfortunately, some Muslims or some people who sometimes pretend to be Muslim. Maybe they've left Islam. But you want to be in righteousness and have the peace of that night. They descend abundantly. It is a peaceful night, free from every type of evil and wickedness on account of its abundant goodness until the appearance of dawn. Dawn meaning Fajr. So that means from Mother to Fajr is the night. And you can do ibadah and get righteous reward, even right after Mother, praying, supplicating, but especially after Isha. Uh, until the appearance of dawn, Al-Qadr night starts at sunset and ends at dawn, meaning at Mother and it ends at Fajr. There are numerous hadith. Prophetic statements about the virtue of Laylatul Qadr, and we read some already, stating that it falls during Ramadan in the last ten odd number nights. Laylatul Qadr returns every year and will continue to do so until the commencement of the last hour. The Prophet Wasallam used to practice uh, itikaf by staying at his masjid, actively worshiping the law during Ramadan's last ten nights, hoping that his worship would coincide with Laylatul Qadr. Allah has the best knowledge of Allah. So letting us know it's a powerful night. It's a night of goodness. It's a night of peace. It's a night you should read Quran. It's a night you should uh, supplicate. Definitely supplicate. Raise your hands and supplicate to Allah. Ask for His forgiveness. Ask for everything that you want that's good. Uh, 
and pray. Very important. So do as much as you can, especially these last 10 days. Tomorrow is the ninth day. Meaning, use that day in the day. Lots of supplication. Doing good deeds. Do it as much as you can. So this is the point. And we ask of all the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct from my and Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect from, from myself. The Shaitan, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Nabi Muhammad, Wa Ali Musa, Wa Sallam.